Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn about variance reporting in Primavera PSX. Before you prepare any variance reports, you should be having baselines assigned to your project schedule or else there won't be any variances in your schedule. See in this example that I will be using in this video now, here when I go to the projects tab and click on assign baselines, you can view a baseline attached under this project baseline. One more way to check whether your schedule has the baseline assigned or not is by viewing at the information bar right at the bottom here. Now it is possible to report the activities which are delayed or ahead with respect to the baseline dates. Different kind of variance reports can be created using the filters feature. Simple ones are like variance baseline project start date and variance baseline project finish date. You can also add them like this into your columns so as to view them quickly. Okay. Now let us create a variance report 1 by clicking on this filter icon. Click new to add a filter and give a name saying variance report 1. And give condition as variance baseline project start date is not equal to zero add or variance baseline project finish date is not equal to zero and click OK. Now selecting this filter click on apply to view all those activities that have slipped from its baseline start or baseline finish date. See these are all those activities. Okay. Similarly, you can create other types of variance reports like cost variances, variance of labor units, accounting variances, etc. So on a weekly basis, you can generate these kind of variance reports. Therefore, if you want to find out how your current project is performing compared to the project's baseline, you would look for variance reports and publish to your management frequently. Okay. So friends, this is all about variance reports in Primavera P6. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.